Hello and welcome to another sneaker video. This time I have the 2017 Fila Cage All-American Sneaker. The original Cage came out in 1993 as one of Fila's first basketball sneakers and featured an innovative cage-like foam collar. Though popular, the shoe fell somewhat into obscurity as the brand declined after the late 90s. Fortunately, the model was revived in 2012 and has since been released in a bunch of colorways and themes. It's now considered a fairly unisex model and very much a casual retro shoe, often releasing in either leather or suede. This latest version did away with the original foam cage collar and the later 2012 memory foam cage collar and instead features a soft terry cloth collar resembling a headband which pays homage to the brand's tennis apparel history and this red white and blue colorway came out just in time for july 4th making its nickname the all-american all more appropriate and growing up in upstate new york i didn't see a whole lot of feeler shoes at the time it was more of an urban brand and the few models that I did see were worn by the kids who moved up from New York City. And I remember a lot of their models being bulky, which wasn't unusual for the 90s, but they were also pretty original, and the cage was no exception. The original model had a higher silhouette, a carbon fiber piece, and the midsole design was slightly different. But when the brand uh, retroed the cage in 2012 they wanted an updated model that would appeal to a new generation so you might associate Fila with a few of its popular 90s basketball sneaker lines like those worn by Jerry Stackhouse and Grant Hill those are some of my favorite Fila models though they can be hard to come by you can sometimes find them lurking on eBay and sometimes for a really good price you also might associate Fila with track jackets and casual sportswear and also those headbands. However, long before it was making basketball sneakers and tennis shoes and jackets and headbands, Fila was known primarily for its underwear, of all things. The company was created in 1909 by the Fila brothers in Biella, Italy, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is a town in the foothills of the Alps and officially opened shop two years later in 1911. The area had long been known for its wool, and I'm talking about hundreds of years, and the brothers set out to continue that tradition, making quality clothes for the local people. So over the years, the company grew, as did its reputation. However, it was their decision to hire a man named, and I'm gonna butcher it probably, Enrico Fracci, Frache, I don't know, as their managing director in 1968 and that really propelled the company forward. Fila moved into sports, namely tennis, and began courting athletes, and it released its legendary White Line Tennis Apparel Collection in 1973, which solidified its reputation as really kind of a luxury lifestyle and tennis brand, uh, willing to kind of push boundaries, because at the time, tennis players typically wore all white and Fila came out with all of these bright colors, reds and, and blues and other stuff like that. In the mid-70s, Swedish tennis player Bjorn Borg became one of the faces of Fila, sporting the F-Box logo during many of his matches. And he may have worn Italian brand Deodora shoes, but he became synonymous with Fila apparel. And Fila was also present in 1986 when climber Reinhold Mesner and one of his climbing partners reached the top of Mount Everest without any bottled oxygen, which is crazy to, to be that high up without any bottled oxygen. And he was the first man to ever do so, and at a time when scientists didn't think it was humanly possible. And he actually went on to continue to summit a lot of tall mountains, I mean, ones that kill people. And he often wore Fila clothes. I don't believe Fila actually got into the tennis shoe game until the 80s with models like the T1, and it wasn't until 1992 that Fila actually entered the basketball sneaker arena, with the cage being one of its first models. 
Over the years, Fila merged and changed hands a few times and is now owned by Fila Korea and operates out of South Korea. And of course, they continue to be heavily involved in tennis. So that's the history of the brand in a nutshell. And so you can see how the Cage All-American is a tribute to the brand's influence on tennis, basketball, and lifestyle shoes and clothing. If you like clean white retro basketball sneakers with those traditional Fila red and blue colors and for under $100, this might be the shoe for you. It retails for $90, but I've already seen them going for slightly less on eBay. In terms of comfort, they're not bad. I would put the cushioning between a, a Reebok Twilight Zone pump and a Jordan 7 if that helps. They're not the most comfortable shoes on the market, but I was not unhappy with them. I was pretty pleased. If you're someone who has issues with sneakers rubbing against the back of your leg and ankles, giving you blisters like me, I have that issue. This shoe is great because you've got that really soft terry cloth collar. Anyway, as with all feelers, go up half a size. Uh, the design isn't very breathable as there are no perforations, so it might not be ideal if you live in a hot, humid place like I do. Regardless, I do intend to wear these and probably get a second pair. That's how much I like them. So that's it for this review. Are you a fan of this model? Are you a fan of feelers in general? Leave a comment, subscribe, and until next time, have a great day.